No wonder passengers are losing patience tonight. This is a dispute which began in midsummer and will now extend into an eighth month and a new year. This just shouldn't be happening. It's ridiculous. Just sort it out. It's a bit of an inconvenience, but I'm up for the workers' right, I suppose. So I'm on their side. It's ridiculous now. People like us, people who have jobs who need to feed their families can't even move around now. The latest strikes will be on the 13th and 14th and 16th and 17th of December and then two more pairs of strike days on the 3rd and 4th and 6th and 7th of January. Although there'll be no strikes in the days just before Christmas and New Year, there will be an overtime ban throughout that holiday period. The union says that will mean staff shortages and that will have an impact on passengers. The issues surrounding the dispute haven't changed, but the RMT union says it thought a breakthrough was imminent until a senior management negotiator backed out of a deal. He phoned me at five past one yesterday for a two o'clock meeting and said to me, I've had to cancel this meeting. I am not allowed to make you an offer, either on the conditions, the job security or the pay. The only people that could have stopped him making that offer are the Department for Transport. The rail delivery group say they won't get into a running commentary on why the talks were cancelled and the government denies interfering. But earlier in the day, the new rail minister admitted he and the recently appointed transport secretary were still getting to grips with their new jobs. I'll be doing everything I can to make sure that offers can be put down on the table. We're relatively new in post in terms of the ministerial team. We need a bit of time to actually find our strategy, but I can assure the unions that we will do so, but they will need to compromise with us as well. But after two COVID Christmases, the hospitality industry fears the rail strikes could keep customers at home for a third year. We are very fearful now that the strikes may interrupt, and so we urgently ask all parties to come around the table and find a resolution to this. The strikes have made him Britain's best-known union leader, but he was asked if pre-Christmas action would lead to him being called the Grinch rather than Lynch. I'm not the Grinch. I'm a trade union official, and I'm determined to get a deal. Ian Woods, News at 10.